Hi there. I haven't made a video in a while. Things have been a little busy for me, but uh, but I figured I'd give you an update on my turbine. Um, so far I've made a hub. Uh, this is quarter inch thick steel plate. Essentially it's like this and I just machine out uh, this part. I put it on an index and I drill all those holes and uh, on the back here is a two and a half inch uh, steel that I've machined down, bored it to 17 millimeter, which is what this shaft is here, and then I put two uh, quarter 28 fine thread set screws in the side there to hold it all together. Um, what's different about this one from others that I made is I've made these. Now this is going to be a three uh, blade machine. I've gone ahead and put the uh, six positions there as you can see, um, just in case I decide to change that later. But um, But it will have three of these. Those will be drilled, put on, on center there. I'll inspect them to make sure they're right, and then I'm going to weld them right in place. Uh, and uh, that's going to get me a little further away from the hub. Again, with this 5.3 to 1 ratio, if you've seen the first video I made, um, I need a little bit more torque to get that thing going because there's a little bit of resistance there. So I wanted to get further away from the hub. Um, that's my theory, at least. So uh, <coughs> that is the hub. It will fit on the uh, the end of this spindle like this, and go on there. I hear some sirens in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, at any rate, there's that part. Another challenge I have is uh, to balance it out. Uh, if you notice here, that's my pivot point. All this weight's on the back. So on the front, once I add the bl blades on there, I'm, uh, I intend to put some form of flywheel on the front. Not sure how I'm going to do that. It might just be a cast iron flywheel, i.e. I'll machine down one of these to fit on there, or um, I might make um, a solid nose cone or something like that, depending on uh, how ambitious I'm feeling <coughs> at the time. Um, so that's another problem to solve. Here's a view of the back. Uh, this is where the tail section is going to mount to. It's, uh, I have two used carbon fiber ski poles. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's a weight issue. I want to keep the tail as light as possible um, so I can balance this thing out. And uh, somehow, some way, I'm going to mount those on there. I'm not sure how that's going to happen. The jury's out. But uh, that's where it's going to go. And then over here, I'm going to spin this around and move the camera. Uh, you can see a little hole here. That's where the wires are going to run down the pole. And I'll uh, put a rubber grommet on there. And uh, as you can see, obviously DC motor, two wires right now. But I may want to change that to a PMA in the future. So I'll put a little junction there. And I'm thinking I'm going to have four wires come to the junction. And I'll just use two for now. But it will be a ground in three phase. So four wires um, for the future, um, if that's necessary. Okay, and these are the blades I'm going to run uh, for the turbine. They are about 37 inches long, maybe a little bit longer than that. And keep in mind, they're going to be off that hub by a little bit because I've got those uh, struts that I've made for it. Um, <clears throat> that is, uh, the blade itself is what it will become similar to this. Now, um, I realize there's a lot of science to airfoils. This is something I found very effective. It gives me a lot of low-end torque. I'm not going for maximum RPM here um, or other things. I just want durability and I want low end torque. And I found these to be very effective. Um, again, this is my own idea. I've put up a video on how this is done. And I know how folks dislike PVC. However, this is uh, very different than just running a straight PVC blade because obviously this is a wet noodle and would just fly to pieces in the wind. Uh, once you add the steel, um, now, two pieces of steel and pop rivets, and, and a piece of three-quarter inch pallet band. You can just imagine the tensile strength of that. Uh, you're not going to break that steel. Uh, there is possibility you could crack the blade, but um, these are very inexpensive to make once you make the jigs for them, and they're very effective. Um, and again, it's all about, for me at least, uh, low-end torque and durability. And uh, I may eventually make them out of wood, or something else instead of this PVC 
but right now it gives me the shape at an economical price. Uh, and that's what I'm going to run with this one. So have to finish this, see how the blades uh, perform.